Hello and welcome to the studio. It's Vin Jelly here and I'm showing you some photographs that I took in a local park recently. Um, the light was fantastic, it was more or less from behind but overhead and um, I decided to use these photos as reference starting points and worked out a couple of very quick thumbnail sketch compositions in my sketchbook. So I had a couple of possibilities and the first attempt I thought would work quite nicely on a square format so I laid out the square, um, masking taped off a section of the watercolour paper and sketched out the drawing based very closely on one of the photographs um, but altered some of the shapes of the sheep um, taking different reference shots and amalgamating them to get the composition how I wanted it. I still don't think I quite got the left hand sheep correct um, but the central sheep I was quite pleased with the way that it was standing uh, with its ears outstretched and light coming through uh, giving a bit of redness and I like the contrast with the dark background creating the light and then all these pinpricks of um, seed heads of um, thistle down uh, also catching the light but um, the more I worked on it the more I realised that the foreground was getting too busy and um, so I softened it all out but I still don't think this image worked quite well and there's some room for improvement so I thought I'd have another go at a, a different version which came to mind as I was working along um, whereas in this version I got rid of the trees in the background and had a more open Dartmoor like landscape that I'd seen on Belston tour uh, last year in the, at the end of summer um, with a big open vista in the background and um, aerial perspective coming into view with a very bluish background and I thought that would work quite nicely. Um, I'm planning a third version of this painting but that doesn't appear in this video. Uh, which amalgamates the two attempts and, and consolidates some of the ideas I had uh, during painting them. So this is a slightly different format. It's on standard watercolour paper and it's just um, a rectangle. I haven't trimmed it or cropped it at all. And I decided to close in on the sheep a bit more so I could look at the textures. And it's a more intimate painting in some ways in that we're closer in and we're looking at what the sheep are looking at perhaps in the backs of their heads and I love the the main sheep on the right there with the back of its head um, catching the light as I said in the first video that was that was the first uh, watercolour that was really what got me interested in this particular scene so as I as it developed and I got the landscape stretching away from these sheep um, what came to mind was a, a pre-Raphaelite painting actually uh, with sheep in it I forget I think it's by Ford Maddox Brown I can't remember exact title of it but um, that had an open landscape although it was much more finely painted than this and it had very blue skies it was an oil painting but it just made me think of the kind of bucolic scene and the, the beauty of the sheep and the land so here you can see the background it's very simply painted even though it looked quite complex um, the background is li literally just very faint washes of cobalt blue and a little bit of ultramarine maybe touched in as well. Um, and there's not a lot there, it's just cr controlling the water and using wet in wet. And I really loved these thistle down heads and wanted to make the most of them, but they do, to a certain extent, confuse the image and take away some of the contrast which makes the sheep stand out. So here in a close-up you can see that's working quite nicely but making it work as a whole was harder and I had to subdue some of these light areas um, trying a mount round it as well just to see what it looked like in contrast when it was framed when it would be framed to see if it pales away. So I had to darken a lot of foreground in order to make it stand out more. Here's the finished item. As I say there may be more to come if you like the video please like and subscribe and there'll be more coming subscribing really helps to grow the channel so please hit that button bye folks